Online discussions all across East Tennessee and the country about all age drag shows are turning into real life demonstrations tonight. The controversy surrounds a law currently in effect in Tennessee. It says an adult oriented establishment or cabaret, which includes male or female impersonators, cannot be within 1000 feet of a church park or a school. The law doesn't clearly state whether it applies to venues or the content of the show themselves. So for more on the law and what's happening tonight, we check in with Caitlin Keenahan, who is on the scene and this show is expected to happen tonight at the Tennessee Theater. Caitlin. Yeah, John, that show is supposed to start at 7 p.m. tonight, and you can see it's about 6 o'clock right now. We've got protesters on one side of the street, counter protesters on the other side of the street, and they're actually split up by what they believe. On this side, folks are against that drag show, that all age drag show that's going on at the Tennessee Theater. And on the other side, they are standing up for the drag queens in that show. Now, this show is not a new show. It has been around for years. It's a it's toured countrywide and it's actually been at the Tennessee Theater eight times. This is the first year that they've received any pushback on this show. I spent the day talking to people about what this means. Since October, drag show after drag show has faced pushback. They were they were threatening us, saying that protesters were going to show up and get the, sh the show shut down. IM's Drag Me to Nature event in October was the first to be canceled, and the Tennessee Theater's Drag Queen Christmas is the latest on the list. But on Monday, online criticism advanced to in-person objections at Knox County Commission. I just want to make sure that kids aren't being exposed to things that shouldn't be exposed to. Some demanded commissioners and city leaders cancel the show. I brought this to remind you what a spy looks like. Grow one. That's when the pastor of Lenore City's Patriot Church put out a live video organizing a peaceful protest. Uh, we are not there to yell or engage what other people do. We don't necessarily endorse or approve of, but it's not us. If you're part of our group, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, we are not warring after the flesh. Today, Knox Pride took a stand against that rhetoric at a press conference. Common history with us. Pick on something about the LGBTQIA community um, and, and rally people around that. And it always causes harm. Knox Pride is supporting drag performers but will not be counter protesting for safety purposes. And we had the concern at first to do a rally and then thought, no, we don't want to get into something. We don't want to shout. We want to proclaim love. Now this protest is not supposed to officially start until 630. So everyone that's here is technically here early. Again, that show starts at 7 p.m. tonight. Knoxville police do know that this is happening. There are several of them, several cars around here tonight, just waiting um, and, and feeling everything out. We'll keep you updated online and on TV as we learn more. Back to you. Caitlin Keenahan, we'll check back in with you. Thank you. Tonight,